Um, so I'm going to review this book today. It's called Unplug Every Day and it's got 365 ways to log off and live better. I got this as a gift. It's not really the sort of book I would have picked up for myself, but it does look quite nice. It's quite attractive on the shelf. So it's basically just got a whole lot of pages with different ways you can get off your phone or get off your laptop and give you something else to do. So this one got like ask a stranger for directions when you think you've lost your way so I think that's quite good because everyone would normally just pick up their phone and google map something when you could just ask someone who's walking past so it tells you to write down when you completed it and like to reflect on it to see like how you felt about it it's got like a few sort of good pages like that it's also got um some pages like don't set an alarm clock it says instead wake up with the sun I think things like that are a little bit impractical for people who have obviously got to get up for work or for school or whatever, so it might not really be the best way to get up. But then it's just got some like other really good pages, like this one, um, play with cute dog, cats and babies instead of taking photos of them. That's like really relatable to me because I'll always take loads of photos of my dogs and put them in Instagram instead of just like sitting there and being happy with them and just like keeping it to myself. Um, yeah, and it says like don't plug in on your entire commute. So a lot of people will be guilty of on their way to work sitting on their phone playing a game or like looking on Facebook or whatever when really they could just like sit there and read a book. I think it's like a really good book to give to someone who spends a lot of time on their phone or on their computer, who doesn't sort of realise there's like other things in the world they could be doing. I think it's like quite easy as well. It's like this page says disconnect from your home internet for the weekend. That's something we could all do and we could go out and do other things but no one would really think about doing it so i think it's just great for people that spend too much time on the internet and they sort of need a push to go out and do things and obviously they can write about it and it's quite good because you don't have to read it all at once and you don't have to do the whole book in one day you can just go back to it if you feel like doing something different of a weekend and it can give you a few ideas so um, yeah, I think I definitely use it. It's not the sort of thing you can like read over and over again, but I think it's good, like I said, to just pick up and go for different ideas of what to do. So I'd probably give it like maybe an eight out of ten.